Most people have no idea that it's even there, but for others, it's been the source of a strange standoff between artists and federal bureaucrats, and one that may finally be drawing to a close. Katherine Heenan has tonight's Night Beat Extra. It is called Jade Cove. Beautiful, hard to get to. And on most days, diving here would amount to suicide. You know, it, it's one of the big adventures we can have these days. You know, there aren't too many things you can do like this. The adventure Don Waber is talking about, jade collecting. For generations, people have been coming down this 180-foot cliff on a kind of treasure hunt. Now, this is the beach, and there isn't much beach there now. It is one of the only places in the world where a concentration of jade erupts from the mountains, spilling into the sea. You can find tiny pebbles of translucent jade. The controversy is that you're only allowed to take what one person can carry. made float takes me over the thick kelp to the dive site. In the front pocket is a dive light, anchor, lift bags, nets, marker boys, and a pinch bar. Ryan Masters finds my float unesthetic. He thinks it a rather ugly abortion, like the result of some terrible accident at a foam and resealant factory, or like a stepped-on styrofoam beer cooler. I call it my home away from home. Like breathing out and breathing in. It's a bit of a squeeze, but once inside, the cave opens up. Jade. 